Hey, today's story is not necessarily automotive related, but it's just too darn good not to share. So the backstory is a few months ago, I got called into an appraise and a collection of an estate. A gentleman had passed away and he had collected many cars and a bunch of stuff. And the family wanted to get an idea as to the value of these vehicles. Now I get called in to do this sort of stuff quite a bit. Uh, and this one was great because it wasn't too far away. So I went out to the property and was absolutely blown away, not necessarily with the cars, but with the quantity of what was there. Several, several cars. I think there's maybe 15 cars or so. Um, but the stash of stuff is absolutely mind blowing. This is acres and acres of cool old junk. So I gave an appraisal of the vehicles for them, and then I told them if they need any help with selling the cars or going through the estate or anything like that, that I would be all over the opportunity to assist. So during the holidays, we spoke about it, and then we met up out there last month in January to kind of survey the, the process and look at everything that was there. And just recently, we have started to dig real deep into these piles of stuff. So on Tuesday, I was up there with a good friend of mine and one of the family members, and we kind of went through the workshop of this guy's property uh, and a lot of trash. I mean, we filled up trash bag after trash bag full of just, just junk that this guy had hoarded. Um, and going through boxes, I, there were a lot of auto parts, a lot of variety of stuff. And one of the items that I pulled out of the box was this guy right here. The Ice Gun by Opco. And I grabbed it because I thought, damn, check this thing out. It's a ray gun. Really cool. And I just thought it might be a fun thing to put on the shelf at home. Just a cool little souvenir of what was there. And when I got home and I did a little research online, I was absolutely blown away to realize that one of these bad boys sold for $19,000 at an auction. And there's one on display in the LA uh, Museum of Art. That It's one of those like design element, cool, crazy ass things that people have collected. It's extremely rare. There's maybe 20 of them in the world by estimates uh, say. And this little goofy ice maker is worth a ton of dough. So obviously my job there is to help this family get the most out of the collection that's there. So this is not going to go on the shelf of my home. I'm not going to dress it up like a ray gun and pretend like I am a spaceman, even though that was my first intention. So it'd be really fun to see where this baby ends up and how much money is realized from its sale. Super exciting find, and one of the things that I just absolutely love about digging through old junk. You never know what you're going to find, and you need to take the time to research the stuff that's there. Because this very easily could have just gone in a landfill and been gone for good. Thank God I caught it, and thanks to Google for helping me figure out exactly what it was. Wait a second, I just found another one. That sold for 32,500 bucks. What? Next, a quick foray into the refrigerator. And amazingly enough, not the slightest trouble extracting an ice tray. For this is a particular kind of ice tray. This Buck Rogers like gun is fed with ice ammunition, which drops out of individual plastic cups by merely pressing the dimpled back. on the target for tonight. Plenty of crushed ice for proven cocktails, as well as your ice bag for the morning after. With this remarkable combination, loading and shooting ice for fruit appetizers becomes an indoor sport. Absolutely incredible find. I had no clue when I pulled it out of that box that it had any chance of being worth that much. So I've decided that the best thing to do is to put it up for sale in an open auction and see where the bidding takes it. So I currently have it posted on eBay 
with no reserve and a starting bid of just 99 cents. I'll put a link in the comments down below and hopefully people can follow along and I will follow up with what it finally sells for in the very end. So remember what the ice gun looks like. If you see one at a flea market or a swap meet or in a box of junk somewhere, grab that baby because it's gold. Thanks very much for watching. Have a good one. Bye-bye.